What will you do this week? Well, this week we're going to look at plate tectonics. So plate tectonics is a theory that was developed in geology to explain the data that we were collecting around the globe. And it does a really good job of explaining earthquakes and volcanoes, not only why they occur, but where they occur. And of course, it does a good job of explaining lots of other features that we see on the planet, including just mountain ranges, uh, how the ocean floor has this ruggedness that we see, and even uh, parts of the interior of the Earth. And so what we're going to do is look at this USGS page to get most of your information for this main lecture quiz that you'll take. And so when you click this link, it's going to jump you to this page here. I'll bring that over. And what you're going to see, there's these eight sections that I'd like you to go through. And they walk you through how the theory was developed over time, and then what the theory means, and what we use it for, and how we can use it to predict earthquakes and volcanoes, or at least as best as we can. And so you'll jump through each of these, so you can just click them, and then they'll load a new page here. You can read through the content. And if you want to go to the next one, you can just click this arrow and it'll continually move you through those eight little uh, thumbnails that you see there. Now, there is some sidebar information, which is additional information. You don't have to read through these. You certainly can. But the information that I want you to get is just uh, in those eight um, thumbnails that you see. Right. So it is a lot of information. So I think that's plenty for you. And so make sure that you get through all eight. And then there is a little study guide only because, you know, plate tectonics is a pretty big idea, pretty big uh, concept, I guess. And so uh, to help you focus, I put that little study guide. It's just some terms and things that you should know and some, some things that I want you to explain when you look through the lecture quiz. The other thing that I've given to you is these are just some animations that show the different types of boundaries, how plates can interact with each other. So certainly they're described in the USGS page, but some of the imagery, the little animations, I think, are helpful. So you can take a quick look at that to help you understand what's happening at these different boundaries. And then this other one is just a little explanation about how we came about figuring out where the boundaries were and that was based on earthquake and volcano locations but it's it's a once again just a visual aid to help you understand uh, plate tectonics and then of course you'll have an article quiz this is focusing on an aspect of plate tectonics which are called hot spots and so there are some anomalies uh, with the original theory of plate tectonics so we had to make some adjustments and one of those adjustments is the idea of a hot spot so you can look at that this video is one of those earth revealed videos so it is one of those you know 1980s videos but once again it it covers the basics of plate tectonics and so it's a good supplement to the original content from the usgs there and so it'll kind of reinforce the information and concepts that you were exposed to in the usgs page but it's a good reinforcement i think so you can go ahead and take a look at that and for the homework what i'm going to have you do is visit a couple websites and then answer some questions so that's going to look something like this here and so there'll be a couple links embedded in the files and you can go to those links and read through and answer the questions related to that. There's a little short YouTube video that I want you to watch and then another link you can go to to read about. So you just answer those questions and then you can submit that and then you'll be done with the homework. And then we will also have our lab. And so the lab is going to be over. Um, let's see, where do I have the lab right here? So the lab is over plate tectonics also. So we're kind of through with the having different information in the lecture and lab. From now on, they will be consistent. So whatever we cover in lecture, there'll be additional information in the lab. And so once again, there is a tutorial specifically just for the lab and how to work your way through it. You're going to be using a map here that you'll download and you'll be able to zoom in and zoom out so that you can answer some questions about tectonics that you see on the map. And so there's a little tutorial and then you're just going to work your way through like you've done in the past and move around the map and identify some symbols and identify some different types of boundaries. 
So I want you to go ahead and go through all that. I do want to show you one thing here toward the end of the lab. So there is a little calculations that I want you to do, which is some math here. So all we're doing here is we're getting rates, distances, and times. So we can manipulate this formula that you see here, the rate. So it's just distance over time, like miles per hour, right? But of course, in geology and the sciences, we want to use the metric system. So it might be kilometers per hour or centimeters per year, things like that. So the units are important to keep an eye on when you're doing these calculations. But I've also given you a short little tutorial on how to work your way through a question that uses centimeters and years and things like that, because that's the rate, that's kind of the speed at which we talk about plates, how fast they move. They're not super fast, so we're talking like centimeters a year kind of stuff. And so this walks you through some of the math if you're not very confident in that. And then you'll use that information to answer some of the questions here about how the plates have moved in the past. But anyway, I think I, I go over that in the uh, tutorial, so I don't want to be redundant. Anyway, so that's what you're going to do this week for plate tectonics. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me. Have fun and good luck.